Yes. Yes. See? This is a nice one. This is a nice one. And exactly on the edge, as I told you. So look for this kind of areas. They like this kind of, you know, anything unusual. Hello, this is Jighead TV again. And today we are fishing uh, for Trevales specifically. It was very, very foggy morning today. And it's, the fog stayed out until 10.30. So I didn't bother going very early morning because usually when it's very foggy, the fish is not active. So I came here in the location, uh, in the floods in Abu Dhabi area. And uh, it's around one o'clock afternoon now. And uh, you know, the afternoon time is a good time for uh, fishing for tri for trevalis, golden trevalis, for the orange spotted trevalis specifically. And I'm going to be using very small jig with the assist hooks, small assist hooks. And I like to for trevalis to use uh, assist hooks with the feather. So I will use this and let's try to see what we can find and catch. And uh, I like this, for example, location specifically because there is a current and trivalis are the fish that are moving around in schools and trying to catch something, you know, very interesting and, you know, like a uh, big flow, big current brings more oxygen to their gills. So the fish becomes more active. And uh, let's see if there is any fish here around. For trevalis, I like to use faster action of the jig. I cast it, let it fall for a while, and then I do very fast actions. So the trevalis, they, you know, as I understand this kind of fish, because they are moving in uh, big schools, and each one wants to get a bite of anything that moves nearby. So the faster action, you know, makes them attack more aggressively because they want to become, you know, first one to attack. Uh, the first one out of the whole school, you know, because the, it's a lot of brothers there, brothers, sisters, and everyone wants to eat. And there is not a lot of food, so they become very aggressive. Of course, slow, slow pitch. Jigging also works with them, but for me, I noticed that they like more faster action. The bites usually happen even on either on the fall or on the movement of the jig itself. I'm, I'm not using any trebles, I'm using only double assist hooks, and which is enough to catch trivalis because they tend to bite exactly on the assist hooks or nearby assist hooks. So they attack the target from the head. To swallow it whole, they don't have teeth. Like Barracuda, they don't cut it in two. They just swallow their prey. And your assist hooks just go and set the hook very quickly. For the gear that I use for Trivalis, it's a light gear. I try to make it as uh, invisible as possible. And I'm using right now 0 0.6 uh, PE line. I had a bite just now. 0 0.6 PE braided line with a leader of 15 LB leader. And 2500 reel because orange spotted, they don't usually, the ones that come to the shore, they don't get really big, so you can fight them. Of course, if I get a bite of a golden trevally, I'm gonna, it's gonna take longer time to get it out, but for orange spotted trevally, it's more than enough, and the lighter the gear, the more bites you're gonna get. And the rod I'm using is 6 to 21 gram, and the jig is mostly I'm going to be used from uh, 8 to 15 grams approximately. Trevalis, they like smaller 
kind of lures, smaller jigs. So right now I'm using jig. Jig is my main priority for Golden Trevally. Then of course uh, any kind of vips, small vips, 6 gram, 8 gram vips, uh, small lures, uh, like Ryoki type of style, you know, 60, 60 you know, uh, millimeters, 80 millimeters, 40 millimeters even, you know, small lures. And of course if they start uh, feeding on top, they start giving, going more up, uh, very useful also to use poppers. They like poppers a lot. If they start getting... But now they are sitting somewhere like they are attacking from bottom. So... I'll better use jig for now. The main priority for me, it comes for the jigs. And also soft baits. You can use soft baits, smaller soft baits. Two inch, two and a half inch soft baits. Any kind of uh, grubs or small paddle tails or the fish type with a very light jig head 4 gram maybe let's say 6-8 gram according to the current of course while you animating your jig you can do different type of action don't stick to one type of action uh, of course use your preferred method but then if you start getting bites but not very active then try to change something you know uh, it might work Or try to mix the way of playing with jigs. Yeah, so here is the bite. So again, see, it was after the action, it started falling and we got about direct straight away and that's exactly the species we were looking for that's the orange spotted trevally it bites directly always gets on the assist hooks very nice healthy look at the body of this fish it's made for speed uh, so any type of trevallis they are very aggressive fish, they are very fast fish, they attack fast, so, and I prefer very fast action for them. Yeah, see, even it takes the hook all the way inside. Let's remove this hook. Yeah, beautiful fish. Let's release it. Uh, the smaller versions are very good live bait for trivali, uh, for kingfish. And usually king, kingfish also comes to this area because of the trevallis, because they go here in schools and the kingfish feeds on them. And uh, beautiful fish, I love them. Uh, it's uh, one of the best game fish. So let's try again. So you cast, you let it fall, then do the two, three twitches, you know, play your jig, and then you let it fall on the current. Usually the action brings the fish, and when it starts falling, that's when they bite. So the fall imitates the pose and imitates the fish, the injured fish, you know, that's not able to swim and trying to, to trying to swim but doesn't have power anymore and it starts falling. So it's a good indication for predator fish to attack, swallow it, and that's how we catch them. So it's falling, then you do the twitches as if the fish is trying to revive itself and then it starts falling again
again let it fall while it's falling you can always keep line tight so you don't miss the bite Yeah, one more, it was following all the way probably, and it just bites straight near the stones. This one is a bigger species. It's very nice to catch them on a very light gear. Uh, beautiful fish. Nice game fish, very strong, very powerful. Look at their fins. They are made to swim fast, you know, the body. It's like a torpedo, you know, like it's like a bullet. They don't have teeth. They have very small teeth, you know, but very big mouth and they swallow this kind of small jigs very nicely. Beautiful fish. Let's release it. Yeah, this is the type of jig I'm using. This is the custom-made jig, Mino jig, that made by Jig Head. But uh, you can use any di different types of jigs also. Anything small, you know, 10, 15 gram uh, jigs from any company, Megabus, Duo, Jackson, you name it, you know, Hayabusa, the Jungle Gym, many different types of jigs and uh, you can use all of them. I would suggest using the assist hooks with the feathers. Uh, Trivalis love them a lot. And uh, this is a nice time, you know, like afternoon time, you know, starting anything when the sun comes out and it starts hitting the water. And all the way up to 3, 4 o'clock before the big predators come, Trivali bites all the time. It's a very nice game fish. Uh, catch and release most of them. It's, I know it's a very tasty fish. You can keep one, two for a table, but try to release most just to enjoy. And um, I hope this helped to explain and uh, catching trevalis. And uh, hope to see you soon again with the explaining of catching a different type of species.